Hey guys, today I want to walk you through how to do a perfect circuit in a helicopter. As perfect as, as you can get anyway. Alright guys, back out on another cloudy day today. Back with Rick again. We actually uh, filmed yesterday and it sucks. I don't. I didn't tell you this yet, uh, but all the audio was dead. Oh like not man. A, a, a sli Nothing. This, this camera here, the audio settings were off. So we're going to go back out. We're going to do similar exercises today. The plan is to head back out to the Fraser River, um, do a whole bunch more hover work today and uh, some takeoffs and landings. He did his first takeoffs and landings yesterday. That so a... means today will be better. Now. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It, better for the camera, for, for you guys. It'll, it'll be fantastic. Um, so that's what we're going to be working on. And then we're going to kind of introduce circuits as well. So uh, let's get out there to this uh, cloudy day. Arrival and departures, runway go. one niner. Inform ATC that you have information echo. Echo. Okay, hit the top there. Abbott Ford Airport, oh, information echo. Yeah, we're done with the checklist. It's all good. Okay, cool. Um, so that's good. And then let's dial the, the backup to 119 or decimal 4. That's going to be for our tower frequency. Okay. And that was for ground station. I pop ready for taxi. Okay, so we're asking for an east route departure. So our first call is going to be Abbotsford Ground. It's helicopter Cavalry G2, Golf Uniform Tango Echo with Echo. Okay. Full short of runway 01. I need to wait for the radio to be clear. They're still talking. Hold short 01. Yeah, three. And go for it. Have it through ground. This is helicopter cavalry G2, golf uniform Tango Echo, with information to Echo. Good. And then the second G2, call uniform, Tango Echo. on the ground at BC Helicopters requesting an east departure. We're on the ground at BC Helicopters requesting an east departure. Uniform Tango Echo, Roger, Squawk 7157, contact tower when ready. 7157. 7157. Uniform Tango. Uniform Tango Echo. Beautiful. Excellent. Nice work. Now we can flop that over. So just hit the top one. It flips over and we're ready to go. So let's do our final takeoff checks. Uh, we have no lights on anymore. Rotors are up in the green. T's and P's or temperatures, pressures are all green. All our switches are up. Car heats on auto. And we're good to go. So you can close your door. We'll have a look around left and right. And we are ready for departure. We're gonna do a radio call here to the SUMAS traffic. Um, so these are the greenhouses, right? So um, we wanna call SUMAS traffic, tell them who we are, are, where we are, and what we're gonna do. So this is helicopter Cabri G2, uh, uniform Tango Echo, yes. is 1200 feet over the greenhouses, headed northeast bound. SUMAS traffic, SUMAS right? traffic, go ahead, yep. SUMAS traffic, this is uh, helicopter Cabri G2, uniform Tango Echo, uh, 1200 feet over the greenhouses, headed north. You got her. Fast traffic going up there. Do it. You do. Golf Ascent. Papa, just going to Solak Mountain over the river. 1,000 feet, and we're eastbound, heading towards Solak. Okay, cool. So he's north of Chilliwack Mountain right now, heading out that direction. He's he headed towards Chilliwack. Yeah, he's said headed towards Chilliwack, so he's kind of headed eastbound there. Okay. So it shouldn't be a conflict for us, depending on where he's going to end up, because we're going to end up on a sandbar, kind of just north of Chilliwack. Look at this. Clouds are starting to break up. Awesome. So we're joining downwind now of a circuit. We're going to be uh, using that sandbar over there. Uh, you can come a little more to the left here. There's 600 feet. Let's level out at 600 for now. This will be our height for our downwind leg. And as we're coming a beam our spot, so beam meaning beside our spot, we're going to be looking down at it and just seeing if it looks clear and open. So it looks good to me. How does it look to you? Good. Excellent. Okay. And then we're going to do our descent check. So lights are all off. Rotors in the green. Rotors in the yep. green. He's, he's in the green. All switches are on. Carpia auto. Excellent. That's nice. And um, so we're going to continue on a little bit further. But we're going to try and decide, looking at where we're going, we're going to decide when is a good time to turn our base leg. So I'm thinking like maybe over that little tuft of trees right there. Okay. So just before you turn into your base leg is when I like to start getting my power down and my nose up a little bit. Okay. Just so we're establishing that descent. There we go. And then now we can make that turn happening. And now we're starting to descend in the base leg. And we want to start looking back at our spot and asking ourselves, how's our approach looking? Is it too high or too low, too fast or too slow? I think if we keep this approach going, we're going to be too low. Yes. So let's go ahead and start bringing that power back up a little bit. And maybe a little bit slow still at this point. So speed up a little bit more. Okay. There you go. Start turning for a final here. Okay. We don't want to end up too far over the water. And I think that we're going to still be too low and too slow. So let's go ahead and power back up, accelerate a little bit. We're trying to aim kind of for the middle of the island, little beach there. 
kind of the arm that sticks out to the left. And so we're just keeping asking ourselves, if we keep this angle going, is it going to end up where I want it to go? Still feels too slow and too... Yeah, it's just a tiny bit too low still and too slow. So we got a little aggressive on the base, but that's fine. We'll work on that. I'd rather be on the first one a little bit too low because we're just still working on those transitions to getting into a hover. So it's nice. Let's start slowing down. We can start coming down a bit lower now. Just kind of constantly working your way in on the approach. The approach meaning you're slowing down the whole time until eventually you enter a nice hover. Now remembering, like we talked about yesterday, as you're losing your translational lift, it's going to be lots of right pedal, lots of collective. So start bringing the power up. Start bringing the power up. Good. Right pedal, forward cyclic, forward cyclic. We want to stay level. We don't want to be over the water, so let's let it drift over to the land there. Good. That's nice. That's good. That's good. Keep her moving slowly. Keep her moving. That's nice. Keep that right pedal in there. Keep raising that collective gently. Keep that right pedal in there. That's nice. Keeping her good and level. That's pretty decent. Good. So your eyes are out, staying relaxed. Keep it up in the air. We don't want to land yet. And we just want to establish a little bit of a hover taxi. So the idea is to get sort of a walking pace hover taxi, never letting that nose rotate to the left. So always, always, always feeding in enough right pedal that we keep the nose pointed down the island here. There it is. Okay, so as we talked about, we want to do a perfect circuit today. That's kind of what we're after. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through the whole process. Uh, you guys can follow along and see what a circuit looks like. Okay, so we're going to do this one together. Uh, well, let's do our takeoff checks, so go ahead and do those. The lights are off, uh, rotors in the green, T's and P's are in the green, switches are on, carb heats auto. Excellent. And we're going to go ahead and lift it up in the hover. So uh, tail is clear on my side. How's it on your side? Looking good? Looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and lift up in the hover. So we need a little more right pedal. Good, getting that nice balance point. A little more right cyclic maybe. There she is, coming up nice and smooth, all the way up, all the way up. Keep it straight, keep it straight. Beautiful. Okay, I'm flying with you. We want to do a pedal turn to check for traffic. So tail's all clear to the left, always important that we do a traffic check, make sure there's nobody behind us. So I'd like to do a 90 degree turn. Looks all clear and behind, there's no traffic coming. Yep, there. Okay. And then get it back nice and straight, stable. Everything looks good. We got traffic and, up to the left. Uh, yes, I got him, perfect, thanks. 212. Okay, let's go ahead and depart then. So we're gonna accelerate through translational lift. We're gonna go to 50 knots. So we're working on 50. Nose starts coming up. Going to stay kind of close to the shore. So we're going to do a little bit of an early turn. Uh, 300 feet is what we're looking for on the crosswind turn. So coming up on 300, all clear to the right. And we're going to do our right hand turn here. Now on this circuit, we're going to go to 600 feet. Helicopter circuits are nice around 600 feet. If you're at an airport, you have to do your circuits 1,000 feet above uh, air airport elevation. So but that's fine, we're not at an airport, so we can just do it whatever else do we choose. So uh, coming through 500, we're getting ready to level out pretty soon here. Keeping about 50 knots for that climb out. Here comes 600 feet, all clear to the right. Always good to check traffic as you're coming around. Make sure there's nobody you're gonna fly into. So leveling out here, power is going back to uh, cruise power setting, my attitude's level, and so we're holding about 600 feet. And while we're on the downwind, we want to be looking over at our landing area, making sure that it looks nice and clear still. I don't see anything in the way there. And then we're going to do our those take our, those descent checks again. So uh, lights are off, rotors in the green, P's and P's are all up in the green, switches are up, car beats on auto. Okay. And we are looking to see how far we want to go out before we start that descent. I think now is good. So starting that power down, nose up, going into that base leg. That's looking good. And then as we're getting established in our base leg, we're asking ourselves the question, how's our approach angle looking? Am I too high or too low, too fast or too slow? So we're on a nice base leg right now, looking at our landing area, 
And I think we're looking pretty good right now. Power's down fairly low. We've got a good descent started. I'm gonna go in for my final leg now. And now we're just looking at a nice profile. Depending on what kind of approach you're trying to do, um, on this approach we're trying to do a standard angle. So right now, this is looking pretty good. A standard angle is kind of what an airplane would look like as it's coming into a runway, okay? So it's kind of a, a continuous approach and then it shallows out at the bottom just before touchdown. It's gonna be similar for us. So um, I would say we're maybe a tiny bit on the fast side, so we're slowing down a little bit. There we go. Um, our approach angle is looking good. So you can kind of see we're aiming for the middle of the arm that's sticking out there. That's kind of where the smaller rocks were, so I'm gonna head for over there. And so I'm constantly adjusting with my collective and my left hand up and down to make sure that that angle stays exactly the way I want it to. And then with my right hand with the cyclic, I'm constantly adjusting speed to end up exactly in a hover when we get there. So I'm constantly slowing down. As I'm losing translational lift, you feel right away how much right pedal is going in there, yep. right? I'm raising that collective, raising that collective right pedal, just feeding it smoothly in, smoothly in. My eyes are up. All right, so that was fun. We were working on the perfect circuit today and radio calls as well. Let's do another radio call. Um, so we are just north of Chilock Mountain right now. We're over the Fraser River. So why don't you call Fraser River Traffic and tell them who we are, where we are, and what we're going to do. So we're over the Fraser River, 800 feet. We're headed southwest bound. Go ahead, so Fraser, Fraser River Traffic. Fraser River Traffic, this helicopter, Cavalry T2, Uniform Tango Echo, has about 900 feet headed southwest, uh, just near Chilwack Mountain. Excellent. That's what we're after. So it's always who you are, where you are, and what you're going to do. Paint a picture in someone else's mind of what it is that you're going to do and where you are. Oh, somebody's calling us. Or 1,000 feet just a mile east of correction west of Chilwack Mountain. We're north south right now for the uh, big snapper. Okay, say so let's. So uh, come so, across here. Yeah, say we're looking for you. Okay, uniform tango echo, we're looking for you. Excellent. Let's level it out here. We're getting a little high. We don't want to fly into those clouds. That's a perfect example. We threw a call out there. Somebody heard us. They were able to picture where we were and where we were going. They said, hey, that could be a conflict with us. And so we're looking for me somewhere out here. Uh, we'll keep an eye out to find him. But, uh, but yeah, so if you guys are trying to do any radio calls, that's going to be a, a great little guide for you um, to be able to make sure that you identify who you are, where you are, what you're going to do, and that people can get back to you. All right, so if you guys were wondering how to do a perfect helicopter circuit, that's uh, what you would be doing. It's never perfect. You're always working on it. You're always perfecting, uh, but you're always trying to meet the standard and strive for that. So um, the circuit is such a fantastic exercise because it teaches you so much uh, or it, it shows so much about what you've learned. So um, it was a big, big day for Rick here today because it's kind of the culmination of his first like eight hours is basically where he's at right now. Um, learning how to fly straight and level, learning how to climb and descend, learning how to do a transition from a hover uh, to forward flight, forward flight to a hover, learning how to take off and land, do all his checks. There's just so much going on um, to be able to combine all those together and be able to do a circuit is a really big deal. So um, you guys should really, I would say, per, uh, work on perfecting your circuits. And if you can do a perfect circuit, it shows a lot about who you are as a pilot. So um, keep practicing that if you're, uh, if you're flying. If you're not, well, just watch this video again, I guess. <laughs> Hope you guys liked it. If you did, thumbs up. Talk to you on the next one. See ya. Out.